Good day, dear peeps, and welcome to another speed paint. Yes, I know I just, I just, I just did one, like one video ago. But fact is simply, I've been busy, everyone's been busy, I've not had the time to come up with other videos than speed paints. Speed paints are kinda easy to do, and also I've been getting really uh, rusty on my drawing skills lately. And these videos are sort of an excuse for me to just learn to draw. This time I'm gonna be drawing one of my favorite video game subgenres almost of all time, even though it's just a series. It's the Soulborn series, we all know it, we all love it, most of us anyway. And the reason I'm calling it a subgenre is because what makes a Soulsborne game is so specific and we all know it as soon as we see it. We can all feel if something is like inspired by Dark Souls. And as someone who has played almost all the games, actually the only game I haven't played yet is the first one. So I'm not going to go into judging which one's the best or anything, but I'm just going to talk what are the differences. Because most of us love all of them. But some have a preference to Dark Souls, and people like me have a preference to Bloodborne. So I actually think that a lot of people who just play the games actually know the differences. Like it doesn't take a game designer to tell the difference between a Bloodborne and Dark Souls game. Oh, and I haven't played Demon's Souls, that was another one I forgot to mention. But the specific reasons I love Bloodborne is because it's actually motivating you to be a little more aggressive in your gameplay. And also, it's horror. It, it's, it's horror. Like, Dark Souls already is just creepy, intimidating fantasy genre. It's not, but it's not quite horror. Bloodborne isn't necessarily that scary either, but it's horror themed. Which I just think is so freaking cool. Because in games like Bloodborne, you like get your health back by hitting things, and also you don't have a shield. There is technically a shield in Bloodborne. Let's be honest. Who have we ever seen use the wooden shield in Bloodborne? I'm pretty sure no one uses it, uses it and I'm pretty sure it's, it's basically worthless. It's almost a meme, because the shield itself is just so bad. It could be cool actually to see someone just do a Dark Souls run where they, I don't know, like find the most sword-esque weapon in the game and just use the wooden shield. But yeah, you don't have shields, so you can't just stand around and like, it's not a patience game, you don't have to wait until the right moment. Well, y you do in any of those games. You have to like either back off and just wait for the right moment to go in. But in Bloodborne, you can't just like stand there and protect yourself for a while. You have to go all in and then use your reactions, hope for the best and then just dodge everything. I really like it. It's a little bit edgy, but I like it. It's very cool. It's very nice. But then again, I haven't played the first Dark Souls yet. So who knows? It might change my mind. I actually wanted to talk a bit about the game design of Dark Souls and like, because I actually, a series that I've been watching lately on YouTube is actually the Dark Souls playthrough by, what is it, Dan and James from Extra Play, or you probably know them more from Extra Credits. If you're interested in game design or anything like that and want to know like how Dark Souls was built from bottom up and stuff like that, that is the series to watch. It's a, it, don't expect a fast uh, playthrough. It's a really slow, very analytical playthrough where they analyze everything about the game from like a game design point of view. It's so interesting and they also talk about how like they reused a lot of these assets but gave them some different moves or maybe some different weapons and weapons that already had these like swing animations programmed into them and thereby just creating a new enemy by switching out the weapon. Like how Dark Souls uses very smart recycling in that way, and that's one of the reasons why they could make the game so fast. Like Dark Souls 3 came out like, I don't maybe only a year after Bloodborne was originally released. And that is so freaking cool. So I wonder actually, what's your guys favorite boss? Now I'm probably not gonna be able to actually know this one because it's probably gonna be from Dark Souls. You know, the game I haven't played yet. But like, I don't actually know. What is my favorite boss of all time? Like, they were all pretty good. I could definitely tell you what made me the most mad, and it's probably gonna make all of you mad, saying that I was that I hated this boss. I really hated Vicar Amelia from Bloodborne. I don't know why, like, she's a pretty... From what I've heard, then she's a pretty easy boss. Like, a lot of people have been able to beat her even on their first try. I don't know what it was about that boss that just did not work out for me, but I think it's been... It actually was one of the moments where I felt closest to ever getting a heart attack. It was so late at night, and I was just sitting here playing this game, and I was losing my freaking mind. So yeah, that was probably my most hated one. 
I don't know which one was the best one though. I actually think I really liked Pontiff Solomon. I really liked that fight. I thought that was a really cool one. I don't know if it's one of my favorites. Oh, oh, I know, I know. I think I know. Okay, give me, give me a say. I think I know German. German is so free. I know that I've basically only mentioned Bloodborne bosses except Pons of Sullivan, but oh my god, like that is such an epic fight. Just the music in it, that is, that is amazing. But actually, I think that kind of keeps me really worried a bit. Like, from software, they mentioned that they were done with Dark Souls, but does that mean Bloodborne included? Is the potential of a Bloodborne 2 still alive? Is the dream still going? Or are they ending it here? I really want another Bloodborne. <laughs> like, I heard there were rumors of it, but like that was debunked pretty quickly. And usually, you know, from software being just like the secret keeping bastards they are, then they're probably not gonna release any info on it anytime soon until they're already like, I don't know, basically finished with the game. But God, I want another Bloodborne. That's also a thing I liked about Bloodborne, actually. Uh, every weapon was like... Or, well, some... It, it could be argued. Some weapons were worse, some weapons were better. But, like, they were all... They could all be used, you know? They all had, like, these... They were all unique. You wanted to try them all out because they all had this different feature to them. I actually think the most boring ones were, like, the weapons that could shoot at the same time. I really didn't like the... The rape here, I didn't like that one. I thought it was kind of boring because it was just... I expected a transformation, but it's just another gun on a sword. I actually finished my first playthrough with almost only the axe. I started with the axe, I usually go strength build. That's the way I play Dark Souls, baby. The most normal, most uninteresting way I play full strength. Which doesn't really work that well in Bloodborne. Granted, I, I will say strength builds probably work a lot better in Dark Souls. Not Dark Souls 3, but like Dark Souls 2, it worked out pretty well because they, they don't even have poise in Dark Souls 3. So like, what's what's even the point? The, the, the cool thing about big armors in Dark Souls 2, and I think Dark Souls 1 has it too, is that you can just keep getting hit and just walk through without getting stunned all the time. But in Dark Souls 3, that that still happens, maybe because Poise was a little overpowered or something, I don't know. I think Poise is still a stat, but it just doesn't work right. And Bloodborne, Bloodborne is basically, it's it's Glass Cannon Simulator. I don't think you can, like, you could build as much health as you want in B Bloodborne, but that's not gonna save you. Like, yeah, you can take a couple of extra hits if you're lucky, but you don't really have that much armor, so every enemy is gonna annihilate, or every boss is gonna, like, big boss is gonna annihilate your health bar anyway if you get hit. Like, there's a reason there isn't a weight system in Bloodborne. Because you're meant to be a glass cannon, you're kind of forced into that. That's kind of the thing I like more about Dark Souls. There's more versatility. Like, you can go arcane build, which is a somewhat magic-y thing in Bloodborne. But I, I just, I don't think, it didn't seem that interesting. Like, there were some weapons, like the flamethrower and stuff like that. But it didn't, it just didn't seem like it had the same... Dark Souls definitely had more variety. But yeah, basically I just wanted to make a short video ranting on about Dark Souls. Uh, there will be an animation, or animation, quote-unquote animation, uh, out tomorrow. The, and don't worry, just because I haven't been uploading doesn't mean I haven't been working. I've been practicing my drawing skills, which is also why I'm doing a speed paint. And also, I'm sort of running out for ideas for regular videos already. Like, I don't quite know if I should do some gameplay videos, maybe even record some... Like, like, I like the, the Hollow Knight thing I did, but that's just a lot of effort. That was a lot of effort for one single video when I got other stuff to work on as well. So I don't really know. I guess the future will just tell. I just need to make sure I don't put too much effort into them because it's not uncommon that I spent the entire day that I'm actually supposed to be working on the animation on just making a regular video and then I spend the last two days of the two weeks on just flying through the animation and that just... That just leads to bad quality content, and I don't want that for any of you. But anyways, I, I hope you enjoyed the speed paint. I haven't drawn it yet, so I hope it didn't turn out completely terrible. Not saying that it wouldn't, or well, yeah, I guess you'd know by now. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you all later.